something that we talk a lot about on our team is how do you communicate care? Because there's ways to communicate, um, so I'm just gonna use an example of um, like somebody's air conditioning breaks. Maybe a good thing to talk about on a hot day. And you wanna fix it, but maybe you can't, you're not gonna install a brand new top of the line, whatever, really expensive split system. Um, you are going to replace the window air conditioner and you're gonna bring in a fan today. But how do you communicate that with care? Because there's, sometimes you can't kind of throw money at all the problems, that's just the reality that you have to deal with. But there's a way to say like, I can't solve that today, but I brought a fan because I want to make sure you stay cool today or can you come and work in this other space or I brought you an iced coffee. Like, it's actually just sometimes just those little gestures and I'm, we're constantly talking about a team, as a team about when you can't totally solve a problem, how can you still show that you care? And I would say that I think that that is more of a woman trait than um, as a whole. I think the other piece is meeting people where they're at. I think we, especially in development, we have some really formal kind of quote processes. I think in the, I'm just gonna use zoning as an example. We have 7 p.m. zoning meetings on a Wednesday night and that's how we get community buy-in. We all know that the type of person who comes to a Wednesday 7 p.m. meeting is a very specific person in our neighborhood and is not at all reflective of the overall community. <laughs> and so the question of like how do you meet people where they're at? So in the early years of Bach, we would just hand out cups of coffee on the corner. We'd talk to people and say, you want to know what's going on here? And some people would say, no, my kid doesn't go to school there. And I'd say, I, I know actually it's not a school anymore, but um, I, we can still talk about what's going to happen in it in the future or what you'd like to see happen in it. And we, the first year we kept an office in the old, the workshop space, which is now home to a great coffee shop and a bike repair shop and a cafe and a, an amazing bakery called Machine Shop Boulangerie. And we had our office there and we just put a sign outside that said like, if you have questions, come in and talk to us. And people did, like we're in South Philly, people really came in and talked to us. Um, and so for better or for worse, like most of the neighbors now have my personal cell phone number, they use it. But um, I think again, it's also just like meeting people where they're at and what they realize is that we were humans trying to do something with a big old building and that there was a good intention there. And I think that, I, I can't think of many other male developers that I've interacted with who feel that way. I also think there's just a way of, that we, for better or for worse, the way that we talk about our work, we're not always, I think, and maybe like in that comment when I kind of like shied away, sometimes we're not as um, bombastic about our work. Like I remember when we were starting, somebody said, well, you've got to make this pitch that you are creating the most interesting project in Philadelphia. And I was like, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> like, we're going to try. Like I can say like, we're trying to create an interesting project. And they were like, no, you've got to say that. And I think for better and worse, and I think that is a real like for better and for worse, um, you know, I think we are more maybe mindful of things that might be, I'm just gonna say like an exaggeration or, um, and I think that there is that kind of human connection there that I think um, just women are more attuned to.